everyone and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today we're going to be walking around a 2022 Newmar London Air 4589. Um, exciting video, 2022. This is also a new floor plan um, that's actually kind of been brought on by the events of last year and the demand of customers. So um, while we're kind of panned out there, let's get a good look at the Gerard Nova awnings. So that is a full length awning. It goes all the way from the seam of the front cap to the seam of the rear cap. Notice how they come out and then come down just a little bit. Now that's just to give you a little bit more shade depending on the angle of the sun, that kind of thing. Um, there's three ways we can control these awnings. So number one, I've got a remote right here in my hand. Um, so we can control them with this. Other option is, Back in this compartment, we've got buttons to control that awning. And then last but not least, on the interior of the coach, we can control them as well. So what's really cool about these awnings is let's say you had a tree right here, but you still want to be able to use this awning. You can control these two awnings individually so that you always have an option. Now, you can uh, also put them in and out as far or as little as you want to. Um, so you can put it halfway out and stop it. You can put it halfway in and stop it. Um, so very, very good setup. It also has the wind sensors built into it. So if the wind picked up, it would go ahead and attract those awnings. Now I always tell people it's not a good idea to rely on that system, um, especially Colorado, Wyoming, uh, where we get those big random gusts of wind. Uh, if you just get a big one, it'll lift it up and just tear it off. So if you see the wind starting to pick up, just go ahead and retract it. So um, this exterior color is the Sirocco graphics. So that is a full body paint, no, de no decals, no stickers. Um, up above there, we do have a dual pane tinted window. So that's just a little bit better insulation um, for noise and heat or cold. I'm going to go ahead and put this awning out real quick. So another thing that comes with the Gerard Nova awnings is going to be the window awnings over all your major awnings on this, or over all your major windows on this coach. So I'll put that one out just a little bit so that you can see it. Now, what that does is it just keeps the sun from beating down into the motorhome um, while you're parked. Now it's only over your big, uh, big windows. So you've got that one, the bedroom window, and then the big one on the other side. So we'll walk around the exterior first and we'll head inside. Um, one thing I do like to mention that Newmar does that you don't see everyone doing, fl uh, flush slide outs. So normally a slide out will sit like this. So this would be the edge of the slide out coming over the edge of the sidewall. Newmar just retracts them all the way in. It really does help keep dirt and debris out of your slide out, out of just the inside crack of your slide out. Uh, kind of keeps down on wear and tear. Right here, down below the slide, we've got one of the fuel fills. So you've got dual side fuel fills on this coach with 150 gallons of diesel fuel. Front compartment here, we've got our Dometic CFX, CFX refrigerator freezer on a tray. So it pulls out. Now this is the new refrigerator freezer. It was introduced in 2021 or the 2021 model year. They're continuing it for 2022. What's really cool about this is we have dual zone control. So we can have this side set to one temperature, this side set to one temperature. Our controls for this freezer refrigerator are right here on the side. So we can uh, change it just from right there. There's also an app for your phone that you can download. This is a 110 volt or 12 volt refrigerator, just depending on what power source you have available. Nice shelf up above. That is a carpet lined shelf, really optimizing the storage. That way you don't lose that whole storage comp compartment for that refrigerator freezer. In the exterior sidewall, we've got the 43 inch Samsung HD Smart TV. So you can use your streaming services on it if you have a Wi-Fi connection. Back behind here, we have an audio source selector for this Bose soundbar. So we can either set it up to use the audio off of this TV or the dash radio inside. You can also just set that up as Bluetooth if you want to connect your phone to that soundbar. Our first of our pass-through storage trays. So on the Newmar London Air, you do get power pass-through trays. 
So just the button on the door here, it'll come out 60% either direction. Uh, for those of you who would be filling this kind of tray, um, it's a lot easier just to pull it out to you rather than have to crawl in there and get your stuff out of it. Now, we also have a shelf in this compartment, just again, for more st storage optimization. So, and then, once it's all the way in, just go ahead and push the button or close the door. And behind that, another big power storage tray. I'm not going to pull this one all the way out, but another shelf. Notice everything in here is going to be carpet lined to keep things from sliding around and running into each other while you're driving down the road. Third storage compartment. Now this one's just a half bay, but this is a huge manual tray. So uh, as you saw there, I didn't really have to push or pull it. Now I am on a little bit of a slope, so gravity kind of helped me out. But these do slide very, very nicely. You don't have to really fight them to get them going in or out. Now also in this bay, we've got the two awning controllers that I was telling you about earlier, as well as just some electronics in there, um, just maintenance stuff more so for technicians than the end user. Back behind that, we've got our store or another storage bin. Now this is a pegboard, so you can get the little pegboard attachments, you know, hang some wrenches, hammers, uh, sockets, ratchets. Uh, in the trays, I always think a couple extra quarts of oil, um, any emergency supplies that you may need, might as well just keep them there. They gave you a bay for it. 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. So all that is is DEF. Um, keep it full, you never have to worry about it. And then back behind that, this is just gonna be some chassis components. So we've got our two chassis batteries. All these are gonna do is start the engine. Battery disconnects for these two batteries. So if you're putting it in ex an extended storage, just go ahead and kill those so you don't get any draw on your batteries. Fuel water separator and then your air dryer. Uh, nice and easy, you do have to change both of those uh, every year on annual maintenance, so it's nice that they're easy to access. So in the back here, full fiberglass rear cap, we do have a rear view camera. So just points down right here. Now I'll show you in the cab, but this is a really cool camera because we can adjust the angle that it looks at. So let's say we're trying to hook up a trailer, we can look straight down at the trailer hitch. So let's say we're trying to back it into a spot, we can make it look back farther so you can see where we're going. Down below, we've got a two inch receiver, 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now also on this coach, we've got the connection for the Air Force One braking system already there for you. Seven pin connector for your trailer brakes, trailer lights, car brakes, uh, whatever you need. And then your stacker camera prep. So if your trailer you're pulling has a backup camera, we can actually set it up so that you can look at that camera on that screen, on your screen in your cab. The 2022 Newmar London Air is powered by the Cummins 15 liter ISX, which produces 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot pounds of torque. Uh, very smooth engine, lots of power. Um, this, is the, this is the cheapest model that you can get with a 600 horse per, by Newmar. Um, in my opinion, probably the best value of a coach that it has a 600 horse. Um, by new or out of in the entire industry. So a Spartan K3 605 chassis. A couple other things to go along with that. Side mounted radiator for a little bit better airflow to your engine components. Passive steering tag axle. So you can actually kind of see it right now because I turned when I came in here. But this rear axle turns with you as you uh, when you're maneuvering at low speeds. So that benefits you because one, it keeps this tire from scrubbing. Two, uh, just decreases your turning radius by just a little bit. Coming back just over here, diesel exhaust fluid tank fill again. So we have dual side DEF fills as well as dual side fuel fills. Uh, 15 gallon DEF tank. A Little bit of hose storage. Uh, some people still like to carry just, you know, your standard sewage dump hose, just a place to keep it for you. And then the beautiful redesigned stainless steel water bay. So hot and cold exterior shower 
water hose on a reel so instead of carrying an extra hose you just pull this one out put it up to your spigot and you're done when you're done camping push the button sucks itself back in there hot and cold low point drains nicely labeled little screen out here it'll tell us one our uh, tanks level so right now we're at 32 percent uh, fresh zero zero grain black water pump uh, information so we can turn the water pump on and off to use this exterior shower and then we can turn on security lights just so we can see what we're working on down here macerator on gray and black tank sanitization those rinse valves full house water filter and then your winterized tube now this coach is equipped with a macerator so instead of having just a standard gravity dump you just take this turn that switch on it'll pump out your gray and black tank now people get a little nervous with that. Um, you do always have a backup system. That's gonna be just your standard gravity uh, dumps right there in that bay. Um, one thing I do wanna point out about this panel, all of this lettering is etched on. It's not stickers. Um, so so um, you don't have to worry about it falling off or uh, cracking or disappearing on you over time. In this bay, we've got a power cord reel. So this is a 50 amp cord. It comes with a 50 foot cord. Now it is a push button retract. So when you're done camping, just push the button. It'll suck itself back in there. Um, I wanted to point this out too. And all these compartments I've looked in so far, we've got a nice LED light strip. Um, so they just good uh, lighting in all these bays. They do turn off automatically when you close the door. Other thing in this bay that's important is we do have a 30 amp plug. Um, they say it's for a stacker trailer, but I can think of other uses for it. Let's say you're out camping with your kids. They have a small travel trailer that doesn't have a built-in generator. Um, you can actually fire this up, or you can actually plug them in right here and take power off of your coach and give it to them, primarily off of your 12,500 watt generator. So Oasis Chinook system up in this bay. Now this is going to be your... Uh, hot water and heat. So it's a 50,000 BTU furnace um, and it also will give you water at 120 degrees, um, 120 degrees at 1.5 gallons per minute. So on-demand hot water, literally it'll keep your water hot as long as you have water available. Once you're out of water, well, you're kind of SOL. So another bit, or this is the other side of our big pass-through bay here. Push the button. Comes out again 60% either direction. And then same thing on this, this is just a smaller tray. And then up in the front here, eight six volt AGM house batteries on a tray as well. So if you ever have to change these batteries, it's as easy as pulling those two pins pull the batteries out to you that way you're not trying to work in a confined space back there um, 800 amp hours total of battery power on this 2022 Newmar London Air and then just make sure you put your pins back in that is a nice heavy tray so they do give you a safety feature there up front here the other fuel fill again 150 gallons of diesel fuel so there's one thing that I wanted to talk about that I kind of forgot about while we were back here in the water bay. Um, so right here, this is the edge of our slide. This is the edge of our slide. On the 4589, your water bay is not beneath the slide out. So really, really kind of nice. That way, you know, if that slide was out, I'd have to get on my knees and crawl in there. Um, right here, I can kind of just walk up to it. I can honestly access pretty much everything while standing. Um, just an important feature that I thought you guys might like. Coming up towards the front here, we've got the HWH hydraulic slide out. Now this is going to be for generator servicing and there's a couple other things in here, but um, primarily generator servicing. So if you're the kind of person to do your own maintenance, this generator does slide out. You can see the oil filter there. Um, they make everything pretty easy to access if you want to do this on your own. Um, this is a 12,500 watt generator. So really big, more than enough power to run everything in this coach and a 30 amp power plug for your kid's trailer. 
Um, and that's where you would get the power. If you were, let's say you're out boondocking, your kids didn't have power, they could just plug into you and uh, you run your generator for a bit, charge it up or charge their batteries up, uh, you know, cool their camper down for them if it's summertime. Just a really cool feature, I think, on that 30 amp plug back there. All right, so while we're kind of standing up at the front here, let's look at the stock tag. The stock number of this unit is 5N210631. Uh, that tag is wrong. This is a 2022 Newmar London Air 4589. Um, but the stock number is right. I'll get the tag changed. Oh, now we can go ahead and head inside. Um, one thing I want to point out here. Well, actually, there's a couple things. So one on the Newmar London Air comes standard with keyless entry. So I can lock and unlock the door as well as all my baggage doors right there. There's also a doorbell here. HWH triple step. So that comes down. That's probably about a seven inch step right there off the ground. Um, but I have the airbags fully inflated because I was driving this coach. So um, that step will get a bit lower. I'll show you on the exit. So let's go ahead and head inside. All right, so right as we enter this coach, very important feature in my opinion, right next to the entry door here, we've got one of these control panels and I can turn all the lights on. Um, all the ceiling lights, not all the lights, just the ceiling lights. Um, this coach is completely closed up. All the slides are in right now. So just kind of walking through here, show you that you can do it. Uh, big mid bath on this floor plan. I can very, very easily get to this bathroom. The toilet's in this little room right here. So that is a full swing door. And then if I wanted to get back here into this bedroom, very easy, I can get on this bed. Um, cool floor plan because there's really no pinch points here. There's no place where it's like crazy narrow, so you can't get through it. We'll go ahead and get these slide outs opened up now. That you've seen this, just we'll continue. So this driver side slide out, the off door slide out on the 4589 is going to be a hydraulic slide out. So what's really cool about hydraulic slide outs is it's going to go out and then it's going to go down. Uh, this will benefit you a couple different ways. Primarily, we're not going to have any kind of a step to get up onto that slide out. And it also gives us the full tile floor all the way across. So normally on coaches, you see carpet right here and it's to cover this seam right here. All right. And there's always a step. It's about that big. Um, here it's flush all the way across. Go ahead and open the other slide. This is a four slide model on the 4589. Oh, if I hit the right button, that helps a lot. There we go. So something kind of cool about Numar with uh, slide outs, um, they actually changed it in 2019. So now we can run the engine while we're putting our slide outs out. That way you have the additional power from the alternator to put these slides out. Slide out motors do pull a decent amount of power. So it's worth it to have a little extra ump behind them. Ooh. All right, two more slides here in the back. Um, something that I didn't mention on the outside, just while we have some downtime with slides going out, this coach does have 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, and 60 gallons of black water. So really big tank capacities. Um, a couple other things we did, four 100 watt solar panels on the roof from the factory. So those are sun free solar panels. Uh, doing it from the factory, they do go ahead and put a charge controller and everything in there. So it's a fully functioning system right now, which does help with boondocking a little bit. Other thing this coach has, three 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. So they are an, an, an addi additional heat source um, that can be used in conjunction with that Oasis Chinook system that I showed you down underneath. This last slide out here. So 
Um, the bedroom in this 4589 is really, really nice. So, oh, sorry. So back here, nice big hanging wardrobe, cedar line closet with shoe shelving. And that is, I mean, you could fit a lot of stuff in here. So this is your shoe shelving here. That's an option. We do have a nice small safe in the back there. And then there's some maintenance panel stuff back underneath here as well, um, just for access to, for technicians. Now also stacked Splendid wash, washer and dryer. So they made this really, really easy. And the valves to get to this washer and dryer are right back here. So if you ever had to emergency shut off these, for some, shut these off for one, some reason, those valves are right there. Newmar did a great job with that. A lot of manufacturers don't make it that easy. As for sleeping, we've got a 72 by 80 king bed. We did option this coach out with the sleep number. So we can set the left and right side to different, uh, different pressures, different firmness of the bed essentially. Window on either side of that bed, just for some airflow while you're sleeping. Cabinets up above. Two 110 volt outlets in the back of that. So if you needed to run cords or something through it, there is a hole on either side where we can run cords down to here. And then up underneath here, we've got another touch pad. Now that's gonna control lights, turn the generator on and off, um, things like that all can be controlled while you're still laying in bed. Coming over to the back to the passenger side here, good storage up above, AV compartment. So if we wanted to use one of the satellites that are hooked up or that are already installed in this coach, we can actually just put the satellite receiver right here. It'll hook it directly up to the Samsung 43 inch HD TV. Nice big drawers, dovetail construction. All the drawers in here are going to be soft closing. Really big wardrobe drawers. And then here in the middle, we've got just a general coach control panel. This is actually your major coach control panel. So we can look at our water levels, battery levels, our power intake, um, so where we're getting our power from and how much power we have. Um, again, more power stuff, inverter stuff or charger stuff. Generator, this does have auto generator so we can have that generator turn on automatically if we're away from the coach if the batteries get too low. Water system, climate control, down below floor heat, front, front middle, rear. That is going to be electric radiant floor or electric radiant heat installed beneath the floor tile. Coming out of the bedroom, nice pocket door. So we can seclude this bedroom completely from the mid bath here. Now on this side of the door, we do have a full length mirror. So Jody, come on over here and we'll, we'll show them that. Whoop. And there's the beautiful Jody in that mirror. So uh, full length mirror while you're getting ready, getting dressed. Really nice big shower here. So we've got two different locking mechanisms. One, we've got just a little safety lock right there. Two, there are nice big magnets inside of this door. So it does take a little bit of force to open it, but really big shower. We've got the little stool in here if you need to sit down or put your leg up there to shave your legs, that kind of thing. Dual, uh, dual sprayers, so we've got the wand and the rain style. Conditioner, or shampoo, body wash, conditioner, bottles, all already in there for you. So um, plenty of room in here to do what you need to. Little safety or assist handle right here in this shower. Very important feature. Coming back to the uh, vanity side of things. So these little panels all around this coach, um, they control the lights for the panel or for the area that they're in. So like this one right here controls all my lights for my bathroom. Now there's other things I can do on it as well. Um, I can turn on and off my water pump. I can look at mon or I can look at water levels, that kind of stuff. But so we've got courtesy lights down here that I just turned on, the mirror lights inlaid in the mirror, and then your vanity lights, which is these four pucks up top. So the 4589 does come with dual side medicine cabinets. 
This cabinet over here does have uh, two 110 volt outlets. So down below, solid surface, undermount sinks, very residential looking, very high, uh, nice feeling. Four nice big drawers for all your toiletry needs. And then a cabinet under each sink, huge storage underneath the bathroom sink. Forward to that, we've got just kind of a little linen closet here. Now, don't think that this is useless. These shelves can be moved up and down as needed, so we just have them all put kind of close together right now, but we could space them all apart, probably about 10 inches uh, to make this storage much more useful. Over here, we've got our actual bat or commode, I guess. So nice space there. Um, it doesn't feel cramped by any means. We've also got the emergency egress door coming out of this bathroom so that if you couldn't make it to the front of the coach to use that door, we do have an option here. There's a little ladder that pops out so that you can uh, safely escape from this coach in the event of emergency. That toilet is going to be a Dometic electric flush toilet. It's going to be kind of tough to see this one, but also in this bathroom is going to be all our fuses and circuit breakers for this house. So if I open up this panel, we've got all of our 110 volt circuit breakers, fuses over here on the left, and just a couple more circuit breakers up top. And close that. Um, so everyone saw it with the slides closed, but I just wanted to reiterate that was a ton of space to get to that bathroom. Also, we've got another little pocket door here. So um, we can actually seclude the bathroom from the entire rest of the coach from the pocket door going to the bedroom, as well as the pocket door going towards the living room. Really cool. Um, someone could be, you know, using the bathroom, someone showering um, if you guys are kind of close, but there is room for people to get ready simultaneously in that bathroom. So let's talk about what's really cool about the 4589 floor plan. Um, so this is a new model for 2022 and it came from last year when everyone was buying motorhomes and trying to work from the road um, and they needed a space to work. So Newmar took that information and they built a workspace. So nice little desk area here. Actually, it's not even a little desk area. Like it's a big desk area. Uh, we've got power on the back side. So we've got two 110 volt outlets, two 12 volt USBs, little storage here pens pencils spare change another small uh smaller shelf underneath there now if it were me personally i'd be putting my printer under there there's two 110 volt outlets underneath that as well so you could really kind of set up your own little office here um, i don't think you're going to have a big dual monitor set up but you can easily have a good sized uh, laptop uh, you could put a monitor you could slide a tower underneath here there's a ton of different ways that you could use this. Newmar did an awesome job designing it. And I haven't, or I didn't move this chair to put this slide in. This chair can sit right here and ride there at all times. Um, you don't have to, you know, take it out and find a place to put it while you're driving down the road. Up top, storage for all the stuff you need at your desk. You know, a ream of paper. Uh, you could probably find a way to put some file folders in there and make it useful to you. And then up top, just one more small storage. They're just trying to put storage where they can. And then my favorite part is they gave you a window here. So you're not just sitting in this weird little corner. Like it actually feels kind of open because you've got a window. You can look outside. I'd park this thing right next to the lake and be looking at the lake if it were me personally. So coming in the kitchen area, we've got a nice big pantry. Again, Newmar makes these all adjustable so we can move them up and down as needed push to lock so it goes in it kind of has like a little spring here just push in and in on it and it locks and then push on it again and it comes back out so really nice locking drawers there down below connection for our central vacuum system so out in that storage bay we saw the central vacuum toolkit so we can plug the hose in here that hose will reach to the front and to the back of this coach or we can sweep all of the dirt right to this little point here and um, just open it up and it'll suck it all out. Really kind of nice, especially on a full tile floor. There's a, 
you know it's not like we need to vacuum every day we can do a quick sweep just put it right there toe kick it up turns on sucks the dirt out toe kick it off and done so um, up top here a little storage for the kitchen again all shelves are adjustable and then we get to a little bit bigger storage um, up top here we've got some stuff for our convection microwave but this is a carpet lined shelf up there so things aren't going to rattle around and break while driving down the road Newmar does an awesome job making this a pull out so it makes all the things that you put in that cabinet nice and accessible push it back in 30 inch uh, convection microwave so microwave doubles as a convection oven spice rack up top I think it's kind of cool. I know that's not a huge storage space, but I don't know. In my camper, my spices are kind of everywhere. So it's nice that there's a place right here where we can put them all. They're all in the same place and I don't have to go searching for them. And then another nice big uh, storage here. Again, shelf can move up and down as needed. Carpet lined to keep things from rattling around. Now, the 4589, we did option this one with the kitchen window. Um, What's really cool about kitchen windows is it makes that kitchen space feel a lot bigger. It lets in some natural light so you can see what you're doing without having to have lights on. Uh, but really nice kitchen window right above the solid surface countertop. Now, Newmar being the amazing manufacturer they are, uh, we do put, or they do put cutting boards underneath of our stove covers. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but it's something cool because you don't have to think about trying to find a place to put cutting boards. It's already there for you. And that's on both of them. So you could have your meat, you could have your vegetables, if you eat vegetables, on one and your meat on the other. The two burner true induction cooktop, now you do have to have an induction capable pan, it's just a magnetic pan. Um, but it's really cool, Newmar makes it easy. If we want to cook outside, pull this out, unplug it right there in the back, and take it outside and cook. Now, when we want to get back, just bring it in, plug it in, and then, drop it back down in this place and it's ready to go cook again. Now there are outlets on the exterior so if you want to cook outside you have outlets out there you'll just need a little extension cord if you want to be a few feet away from the motorhome that cord's not the longest. Two bowl undermount stainless steel sink nice and big so you could have your soapy water here doing your dishes here uh, nice and big sink gives you a lot of flexibility Another touch pad on this wall. This one's going to control all of our kitchen lights. Just go ahead and turn them all on for you. So it uh, gives your workspace really nice and bright, or nice and bright area to work. Now over here on the left side of the kitchen, we do have a little pull out uh, kitchen extension just for more prep space. Just a button right here you saw. It wasn't that hard to make it come out, push the button, it kind of does all the work for you. You just got to give it a little guidance. Now, we do have full length drawers in that extension as well. Just for added storage. And when it's time to move again, push it away, or if you just want some extra space, if you're having guests over. Uh, big silverware drawer here. So, we've got a lot of remotes and stuff in here right now. Um, What's kind of cool is all the TVs in here are Samsung's, so this remote will turn on this TV, it'll turn on the bedroom TV, it'll turn on the exterior TV, it'll turn on that TV. Um, so, whoa, see, I told you it turned on. So, um, you don't have to keep all those remotes in here if you don't want to. You can, uh, you can just use one if that's how you want to do it. So, this one also has the dishwasher in a drawer. So. Um, if you don't want the dishwasher, well, it makes great pots and pans storage while you're driving down the road. Down below, the sink, just a little place for our sponges, scrubbers, that kind of stuff. Pull out for a trash can, something Newmar thought out because a lot of manufacturers don't. Now, also over on this left side, we've got some space where we can put our countertop covers, uh, being for your true induction cooktop as well as your sink. So that if you were just cooking, you want them out of the way, you can slide them right along the side of this trash can and they'll just hold in place there. They're carpeted just to keep them from being damaged. Another pull out just for ease of access. 
nice big long drawer uh, cooking spoons spatulas knives whatever um, they gave you a space for it and then another one and a small storage there looks like it'd be about the perfect size for a wine bottle all right keeping going with the kitchen here we've got the 19.7 cubic foot whirlpool whirlpool residential refrigerator so it's still in pack mode right now because we haven't delivered this coach it's for sale it's available um, but we've got water in the door we've got an ice maker water filter housing up top there all sorts of pull out drawers inside of that down below we've got the freezer section so nice deep drawer ice maker and then Newmar makes this easy just to slide the lock right there to keep it from uh, pulling open while you're driving down the road um, so over here we've got the buffet dinette so just pull on that lightly it'll come out to extend this table there's two folding chairs that will go along with this that'll match the decor of this motorhome um, so what I really like about big buffets like this one is I can be sitting here and eating um, let's say I have two other people here okay I would have one plate one drink one plate one drink one plate one one plate one drink um, all of our serving dishes uh, things like that they can all sit over here out of our way it gives you a nice clean table I know it's not the biggest table in the world but when you don't have to have anything additional on it it really does make a big difference now also with this dinette over here we get a little computer desk now in the 4589 you don't necessarily need that because you've got an actual computer desk but hey flexibility if there's two of you that need to work here um, great we can set that up with this dinette configuration big storage underneath little pull out drawer here uh, guess what another place for a printer um, a lot of people need printers while they're working there is power underneath there so we've got two 110 volt outlets down below that more storage another adjustable shelf um, another thing that we should mention so you see how there's a lot of room in that compartment we can order another shelf or you can make another shelf and have you know make your storage more optimal optimal for what you need going to move this one out of the way huge drawer um, this could also double as extra kitchen storage if you needed more places for pots and pans or cutlery or you know anything this is a very flexible dinette option we'll put these back up above actually going back to just kind of this dinette stuff um, so for those two power outlets down underneath we've got a hole right here that we can run cords through now also equally as important over here behind this little fascia we've got two more 110 volt outlets and two 12 volt USBs as well so you could have power on both sides of this dinette now going up to storage great storage all the way across the top of whoop, of the passenger side or driver side I'm sorry um, now we also have two light panels here or two control panels here this is going to control the lights for this slide out area so let's go dinette lights overhead lights accent lights are already on wall lights so now we can brighten this thing up so when we walked in this coach we had all the ceiling lights on um, that's like half the lights we've got a lot of light in here now it's important because let's say it's nighttime and let's go kitchen living room nightshades so at the push of the button just dropped all my nightshades down now we can control these shades like for the kitchen and living room we've got this panel this panel this panel this panel and then the one in the kitchen so we can control those shades kind of from wherever we are in the coach now if let's say we're in the bedroom that big panel I showed you in the bedroom we can control all the shades in the coach from that panel and there's another one up here that we can do the same um, but having all this light is nice um, that way it doesn't ever feel cramped in here now with the glacier gl glacier glazed maple uh, you know a very light wood this motorhome does feel very open even with a little bit darker furniture um, I think it's amazing I love this color scheme so go ahead and push this button again and away they go 
So, um, big couch here. So this is going to be an actual trifold kind of sofa sleeper. Um, so that will pull out and make a bed. Now all the furniture in this coach is going to be villa. You also get the two villa ottomans. Now these are storage ottomans, so there's a little bit of space in there. Personally, I'd probably keep you know my lounge blankets or something in them. In them, maybe some board games, decks of cards, that kind of stuff. But both of them are storage. Now you saw me pull this bag out of that compartment up there. It was just in my way, but that is just going to be all of your storage or all of your manuals for this coach. Now, over here on the door side of the motorhome, we're going to go to systems and TV lift up. Now, boom, we've got a 50 inch Samsung HD smart TV on a televator. What's really cool about televators is this big window lets in a lot of natural light. So if I'm not watching TV, I can have all that natural light coming in. And then when I'm ready to watch TV, push the button, it comes in. We're going to lose a little natural lighting, but our TV is in a great viewing area. So if I'm kicked back and relaxed on the couch, I can see that TV very well. Now, let's say we have people sitting over here or laying over here. Boom, they can watch the 43 inch Samsung HD TV up in the overhead. Uh, so really good flexibility if you have more than two people in the coach. And again, all of that is controlled just on the panels all around the coach. Um, this couch right here, just going to be a jackknife sofa sleeper. So just drop it down. Um, if you're taking your grandkids with you, you know, they're a little smaller. Well, you know, they don't really have to be that small. Let's see. If I sleep just at a small angle, at six feet tall, I can easily sleep on this bed. Um, but your little kids, you know, you can fit two or three of them there pretty comfortably. Nice and easy to put away. Up above, really good storage. We've got another Bose soundbar. Now this Bose soundbar is going to be connected to this TV on the televator. And then another AV compartment. So here we got dish, uh, satellite dish stuff, power for your receivers, uh, Blu-ray players, DVD players, that kind of thing. Um, this coach was built for the 2021 Newmar show as a debut for the 2022 Newmar London Air. Um, this coach is equipped with a Weingard Traveler as well as a Weingard RTT20B, which is your in motion satellite system. So two satellites just depends on what you need. All right, coming up into the front here. So this is our kind of our main control panel for the coach. So. We got lights all the way over here, drapes and shades. So at the push of the button, I can make these come down. Now these are the only shades on the coach that are not controlled by these panels. And it's just for safety reasons. Uh, if your grandkid's sitting back there and pushes a button, you really don't want this shade coming down while you're driving. Not that it could, but just for safety reasons. So we've got uh, driver, windshield, and passenger all right there. Uh, lights. For awnings and exterior lights, window awnings, those are going to be the ones that just come over our big windows. These are, this is the third way we can control those big awnings I was talking about at the beginning. So we have the remote, the controller in the bay, and then this one, wine guard traveler control, slide out switches, more exterior lights, Wi-Fi router, as well as the other satellite on this, which is the RTT20B, so that's just the on and off for that. Right here, same as the one in the bedroom, we can control anything and everything we need to in this coach from right here. Little extra storage up above, uh, books for the passenger while they're driving, maps, that kind of thing. More storage. More storage. And then more storage. So, um, and this is gonna be your Wi-Fi Ranger stuff. That's gonna be Wi-Fi stuff. So um, we're going to start over on this side of the cab today. So we're going to talk about the most important person in motorhoming or RVing, which is going to be the passenger. So over here, this coach does have the little monitor panel. So what's really cool about this, um, let's say the driver says, well, let's go to Milwaukee. All right. The passenger can actually sit here and play with this navigation system from here. They don't have to stand up and move to the passenger over towards the driver to control the uh, navigation. We can also look at our camera views 
from right here so if they want to see what's going on they absolutely can and they can also control um, let's go back here they can also control your radio settings from here as well now over here a couple more light switches step cover so this passenger doesn't have to sit here and hang with their feet sitting in the step well it actually comes up now a lot of people like this because they can have their dog lay right there that kind of thing go ahead and drop it back down one cup holder over here on the passenger side and then a wireless charger for cell phones now we can also pull this up if they want to work while they're driving down the road let's push this out of the way for a second so we've got a nice little workstation here um, so that they can work while they're driving down the road I'm going to move that up there there we go all right so um, it's a lot easier if you actually think about that I did not but uh, so nice little workstation you know put your laptop on here there's a little drink holder um, or if they're just playing a game they can do it from right there as well there we go and then it just tucks away nice and clean roll this back out it is just on a ram mount so it does move around all right coming over to the driver's side um so i really like the spartan chassis uh cockpit layout i think it's very nice and easy um once you spend a couple minutes in this coach you'll kind of know where everything is so you don't have to like take your eyes off the road to look for something now over here on the left side we've got the control pad for our hwh hydraulic leveling so when I pull into my campground, get to the spot I want, boom, auto level, it'll drop my jacks, dump my airbags, that kind of stuff um, to make or to get me all leveled out. Touch pad for our Allison 4000 MH transmission. That's going to be a six speed automatic. So just drive neutral reverse, no park on RV transmissions. Instead, you've got the uh, air parking brake. Tag dump. The only time you'd ever really need this if you're in a really slick situation, just trying to get moving. Engine brake on and off huge thing here with this ISX you get a high medium and low for the engine brake light control now Spartan did finally put automatic lights I think they started in like 2020 um, but they do have an auto setting for headlights bright and dim your dash flash your lights uh, um, over here traction control power window over on your driver's side air horn battery boost pedal adjust so we can move the pedals further or closer or further away from me as needed we're gonna actually go ahead and start this up come on so uh, the Spartan k3605 does come with keyless start so um, what happened there is I just had the key a little bit too far away from it for it to work up top over here on the left Kurt integrated uh, trailer brake controller. So essentially what I'm doing right here is changing the gains on my trailer brake controls. Over here, uh, high, medium, low for your front fans. Those are up below the cabinet or behind the cabinets just to increase airflow. Um, these cabs do sometimes get a little stuffy. So um, it's nice to have those fans. Docking lights, courtesy lights, generator start and stop, entry locks. So we've got power locks on our entrance door. And then visors and shades as another switch just so we can move them from here as well now up here very important we've got navigation same stuff we were looking at on that control screen uh, in the passenger seat we can also do camera controls so um, let's just go here so let's look at the front so this is the camera looking directly ahead of us um, kind of cool let's say you're pulling into a tight spot and can't see let's say you know there's a big rock but you can't see it you can look out the front of the coach and be able to tell where it's at right blinker right directly out the side rear view left directly out the side left blinker now let's go back to rear view i kind of mentioned this so right now we're just on our standard now i just changed it so we're looking straight down so if i had a hitch on you would actually see the ball and you could see where you were going in relation to your trailer that you're hooking up to or kind of a wide angle just so you get a full view of what's going on around you now very important 360 degree camera so this is using all of those cameras I just went over to create one big picture around the coach so I can uh, maneuver very very safely without having to have four spotters around me 
Coming back in the center here, we've got AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. We've also got mobile eye on this coach that'll give us lane departure warning as well as pedestrian control or pedestrian warning. So we'll get to that in just a second here. Good storage in this cab as well as a great HVAC system. Uh, there are a lot of outlets for this HVAC, so it does move a lot of air into this cab. Uh, for those of you who have driven Class A's and no Class A's, you always know you can never get enough air in this cab. So Spartan did a great job giving you quite a few uh, air conditioning outlets to keep you nice and cool. So here in the middle, we've got the Spartan Digital Dash. So this is called Coach Connect. So what's really, really cool about this is kind of everything that I need to do is right here at my fingertips on the smart wheel, um, nice leather wrap smart wheel here. But for one, I just want to show air leveling. All right, so right here, I'm not level at all. Um, I'm, actually, actually not, I'm actually not too far off, but let's just say we were stopping for the night or we were just stopping to get fuel real quick and we wanted to level out. Um, rather than dropping jacks, we can go right here to auto level and so it's gonna say leveling active. Now we can see which airbags are deflating to get us level. So that just got us pretty close. Um, it might do it again here for just a second, but we can just air level rather than dropping jacks. Um, all it's doing is adjusting the air pressure in the airbags that this coach rides on to, uh, to just kind of, it's just little movements. It's not like the big movements you get out of jacks, but it's something, especially for just a quick overnight in a parking lot or something. Now we can also come here and go into manual mode. If you want to try and do it yourself, you absolutely can. Um, so we have options front, left, front, front, right, right. Uh, so we can, you know, drop the entire right side or drop the entire left side or drop the front. Um, all at the push of the button right here from the cab. And then once I want to go back to travel mode, just push the button it gives me a warning saying not at ride height so I know just to let it do its thing before I start driving away now brightness of the dash right there messages so if there was any issues with this coach it would actually pop up right here um, we do have a little indication not at ride height now this is more of a like big messages kind of thing that uh, would pop up here settings now things like TPMS sound like if you want the sound uh, to get louder um, as you drive, that's where you do it. Biggest thing here is your comfort drive steering. So what that does is adjust how much torque it takes to turn the steering wheel. It also takes that steering wheel back to center when you let go of it. Um, your control for it is right here. So you can turn it up to five and get more assist or down to one and get less assist just depending on how you drive. We're gonna go over something that we'll explain this a little more here in a little bit. Um, just all your settings, diagnostics. If there's an issue, you can actually look at what's going on while you're uh, while you're sitting in your seat. Now, also we can look at our trip settings. You do get a trip A and B info. That's going to give us accelerator position, uh, TPMS. That's our tire pressures all the way across the board, and then adaptive cruise control. So we can change our following distance. Uh, so you got short. Whoop. You got long, medium, short or disabled if you just want standard cruise control. So another thing is right here, we've got these two little yellow lines. That's gonna be our mobile eye. Now those two lines are supposed to simulate the lines on the road. So it'll tell you, you'll get an audible warning if you start drifting over either line. Um, it'll also show you how far ahead the car in front of you is um, and how fast they're going, which is used in conjunction with the, the on-guard collision mitigation system, which is your adaptive cruise control. So really cool dash. Um, I wanna talk about something real quick. Um, so we've been getting a lot of requests lately for people wanting us to go test drive these coaches. Um, so that's what I did. So next, hopefully early next week, we'll have this video all edited out. Um, I take this coach and I was driving for about four hours. We're not gonna make a four hour video cause it would be horrendous. But um, I took it in the mountains. I took it on two lane roads, interstate. Um, I played with every function that the driver needs to play with while they're driving. Um, so it, it'll be a really good video. We, once it's done and I'll edit it out, we're gonna post the link to it in the comments and we'll kind of just link them back and forth so that you can see one, my walkthrough of this coach, two, me driving this coach and explaining what's going on in my head as I'm driving, as well as some things, tips and tricks that help you navigate, uh, especially in mountain kind of scary roads. So um, I think that's gonna wrap up my walkthrough. 
of this 2022 Newmar London Air 4589. Uh, like I said, new floor plan for 2022. I think it's awesome. Quad slide, beautiful desk, um, great workspace. So if you have any questions on this unit, feel free to give me a call. 303-482-6375. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, you can always shoot me an email or shoot me a text to that same phone number. Email is brian.moritz at transwest.com. Again, phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the driving video, like I said, will be up next week. This is only the second driving video I've ever done, so please, please, please give me your feedback on it. Let me know what I could have done better, uh, what you like, that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.